space venture intern. And I'm tired of waiting around for another video from that procrastinating bitch. The Space Quest historian. That's why I've just gained remote access to his computer without his knowledge. I intend to use his power not just for evil, but to wake up his comatose ass. Let's see if this works. Ah! The fuck was that? Oh, come on. I still have another four hours. Leave me alone. All right, who's doing that? Oh. Oh well. I guess there's nothing wrong with being early. Um. All right. Well, to recap, it's now been precisely a week since my last Space Quest historian video. And I'll bet you're all dying to know, so, where the fuck is Roger Wilco? Well, as we all know, at the end of Space Quest VI, he was happily traipsing along with the Deep Ship 86 and his new romantic love interest, the Klingon face, uh, Stellar Santiago, conveniently forgetting everything about Beatrice Wankmeister, and, well, happy trails all along, having saved Stellar Santiago from the evil clutches of Sharpay and her mind-altering, body-injecting thing. Um, everything seems to be smooth sailing. And we as Space Quest fans were eagerly anticipating Space Quest 7, which was going to be designed by Leslie Balfour and uh, Scott Murphy. And, uh, well, we were dying to know what was going to happen. And, of course, they wouldn't tell us at the time. Now, uh, many, many moons later, I am, well, kind of disheartened to tell you what was actually going to happen in Space Quest 7. Roger was going to get cloned off a bunch of times. Sludge Bohol was going to pop back into his life seemingly for no reason whatsoever, having already been defeated, let's say, a million times. Uh, and Sludge was going to kidnap our hero's original love interest, Beatrice Wankmeister. And why was he going to do that? Well, because he's basically the, the, the Chuck of the series. Uh, and all these clones of Roger were supposed to go traipsing around the galaxy trying to save her. And why the hell would you clone Roger a bunch of times? Well, here's the honest answer. Multiplayer. Yes. Every game in the late 90s had to have multiplayer, and in fact had to be 3D powered as well. And we're not talking the fun kind of 3D, we're not talking uh, Lawnmower Man 3D. No, we're talking late 90s 3D, we're talking blocky shit like Mask of Eternity would be proud of. Um, and also you had to have multiplayer, because at the end of the 90s you couldn't get a game released unless, unless it had multiplayer, and I think we have Quake to thank for that. Um, but anyway, that was that was the, that was the plot of Space Quest Seven. You're seven or ten different Rogers, and you go traipsing around galaxies trying to save Beatrice Wankmeister from Sludge Bohol. This and and also is going to be a top-down sort of isometric uh, Diablo kind of uh, gameplay style, which had very little, if nothing, to do with adventure gaming. Uh, so I'm I'm liable to take Scott Murphy on his word when he says that we should really, really be thankful that the official Space Quest Seven never happened. Um, so I guess the real question is, where is Roger Wilco really? As in, not in the uh, Space Quest story side of the world, but where is he really? Uh, and the short answer is, he's probably tied up somewhere in Activision's basement. Now how did he get there? Well, as we all know, Sierra Online, at roughly the end of the 90s, start of uh, the OOs, if you want to call them that, uh, went belly up. And I mean belly up in the worst way possible. I mean floating upside down in the tank. And when they did that, uh, first of all, they laid off the entire staff. And then they got uh, sold off to a company called CUC Interactive. Uh, and CUC Interactive got either sold off or bought by, which is kind of the same thing, by a company called Sendent. Now, Sendent had a very creative way of doing bookkeeping. So when they showed off a record profit that turned out to be a record loss, they got bumped in the ass and got sold off, or at least swallowed up, by a French software company called Havas. And Havas got swallowed up by Vivendi Games. Are you still with me? Which in turn got joined at the hip with Activision. So we have uh, Vivendi Games, the French developer, and Activision. And they, at this at current time of speaking, 
have no real plans to let him go anywhere. Um, so the question is, are they ever going to let him go? And why aren't Activision developing a new Space Quest game? Well, first rule of thumb is, you don't take away Space Quest. They already tried to do that with, not, uh, not Activision of course, but uh, another company tried to uh, develop a new Space Quest game was going to be an, uh, a jumpy platform shooty thingy. Um, much in the same way as someone hijacked out of those Leisure Suit Larry series and did two abysmal games, uh, which are better left unsaid. Um, so is Activision ever going to let him go? Well, it remains to be seen. And until then, we have the wonderful, aptly named Ace Hardway, star of the new Two Guys Space Venture, to traipse around the galaxy with, really. I, this is just going to be awesome, isn't it? And of course, if you ask the fans, the die-hard Space Quest fans, Roger really never went anywhere. I'm off to bed. <laughs> I am so gonna kill you. <laughs>